Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn Hadoop cluster setup and grid. The Hadoop cluster mainly resides in a steel frame that resemble the modern day cupboards. The only difference between these racks and cupboard is that the rack does not have metal enclosure on all the sides like your traditional metal cupboards. Indeed there would just like open cupboards where you would have holes on this pillar like a structure in the racks for you to be able to bolt on the data nodes or basically the data, data node over here are just a chassis only machines. A rack would be consisting of form like anywhere between 25 to 50 nodes and it's not these racks just accommodated, accommodate the data node. These racks can also accommodate the name node, the secondary name node and our job tracker. It is just an open frame like structure where these chassis can be bolted upon and all of these machine within a rack will be able to communicate with the help of a switch at the speed which usually be around like 10 gigabytes per second and multiple racks would be able to communicate with the help of a multi-layer switch or an uplink switch which also does the functionality of that of a router. Usually the data transfer between the machines in the same rack is much higher than the data transfer between the machine across different rack. Most of the data nodes would be having two hexa core processor or two octa core processor meaning eight cores. There will be two CPUs each of them eight cores and processing speed anywhere around uh, 2.4 to 3.5 gigahertz. And the, uh, the highest the speed and the amount of RAM required typically varies according to the organizational needs. Usually your name node and job tracker would be having high RAM than that of your data nodes so that the data node over here typically would be having anywhere between 50 to 500 gigabytes of high speed RAM and the frequency speed is somewhere around greater than 2000 megahertz and for the storage part the general formula like how much of hard drive storage you need for each data nodes is done by the rule of a thumb that for every single core of CPU you would be requiring at least 2 terabytes of hard drive. Now the question is why don't we use red array in uh, redundant array in expensive disk which has been since more than a decade. Why can't be used in place of a distributed storage system as in case of HDFS in Hadoop. The reason being HDFS cluster do not benefit from using RAID for data nodes especially because your data nodes handle replication across several nodes which is a built-in functionality of your HDFS and although RAID can actually be used for name node disk and secondary name node disk to just act as a backup against the failover or the corruption of the metadata. Even if a disk fails in case of your Hadoop cluster, your HDFS can continue to operate without the failed disk. But that is not in the case with the RAID. So due to this reason, RAID is not the preferred choice out here in HDFS. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you. Thanks sir. Have a great day.